What is up guys, Steve Lex here back on another video. Today I'm doing a little rebuild PC slash update video on my gaming setup. So basically I've had this PC right here for about three years now and it's been working fine. I've loved it, I have no problems with it until about a week ago. I removed my GPU to get access to the SSD because I basically had a Hackintosh system for my PC that I was using and it was working fine until I accidentally updated the Mac OS and then it just stopped working. And then I tried to troubleshoot a little bit, try to get it working, but nothing really worked. And I was like, maybe I'll just get rid of my Hackintosh and on my motherboard in order to take out the second SSD M.2 drive you have to take out the GPU so I took out the GPU I removed the bare SSD which I have right here I repurposed that SSD as a external drive for my Mac so I'm storing basically just video files just backups on my videos and other stuff in case I lose them when I reinserted my GPU and tried to turn it on it would not turn on I tried to troubleshoot it I know these cables are responsible for powering on the PC I tried to take them out I tried reinserting all of them these two on the right are the only ones needed to turn on the PC and I also tried troubleshooting I got a screwdriver and tried to shore at least cables to turn it on nothing worked I checked the outlet I was using it was working fine also I tried to use the pin trick where you put a paper clip on the PCU and the PCU actually works fine so I isolated it down to my motherboard now, since my room is carpet I might have accidentally shorted out something on the motherboard I have no clue what it did it did take a little bit of filling to take out the GPU and put it back so I might have fried it but I, I'm pretty sure it is because I isolated it down to the motherboard so I went about this mag M55 mortar motherboard basically I have to pretty much rebuild my whole PC not the whole thing obviously I don't have to install the RGB fans but I do have to take pretty much everything out I have to take out CPU RAM and pretty much everything from from the case then I have to put that aside then I have to rebuild the PC I thought okay well if I'm going to rebuild it might as well just make a video because I've never actually made a video of me building my PC back then in 2021 I only showed off the PC when it's fully built but I never actually built a PC on my channel so it's so like might as well just build it so we're gonna be building it on this desk not the carpet like I did last time and I guess that was kind of risky because last time I built my PC entirely on carpet and it was November which means there's more static in your carpet. Never build a PC and carpet in the colder months. Obviously, first step is just to take out all the cables. I have this GPU stand off here. I'm gonna set this aside, the SSD things aside, and this is my main SSD. This is for my PC. Take out this. This is for the USB on the top, and this is for the PSU into the motherboard. So this is kind of hard to take out. Okay, there we go. And then we have the two sticks of RAM. I have two 16 gigabyte sticks of RAM. I never really use the RGB on them. If they are, it's on white. And then we have some cables at the top CPU fan. All right, so I laid it down so it can have better access to it. So I'm gonna remove the antennas. I don't have to re-rebuild the PC like with the standoffs or anything. I just have to just take out the motherboard. So all I have to do is just take it out, take off all the components, swap them into the new motherboard, and then hopefully that will fix the problem. I, I mean, that has to be it because the PC would not turn on at all. Like nothing, no sound or anything. So it has to be the motherboard. It can't be the CPU because the CPU, if the motherboard was working fine, it would at least turn on the fans. The PCU fan would turn on and my case fans would turn on, but no, nothing. This has been the only bad thing that happened to my PC within three years of owning it. Cause yeah, I just realized that I've owned this PC for over three years now. Back when I was a freshman, I decided I want, didn't want to use my Mac mini anymore and want to sell it and just get a PC. And it was a great idea cause I have no need for a Mac mini. I love my PC. I'm also so glad that I have this smaller screwdriver because it would it's actually really hard to get access to these screws. Especially ones that are like right by the CPU fan. I think that's the last one. To take out the PCU to CPU cable. Oh dang, this is tough. Boom, we have the old motherboard. All right, so I took off one fan, took out the other one, and then we have these all right, so I basically wiped down the CPU and I also wiped down the CPU cooler so I can install fresh thermal paste. All right, so I'm basically going to be opening that up. Very delicate now. Pull it back, transferring it. Just making sure that these are good. And then opening this one and then dropping that. And then lock it down. 
Now I'm just gonna remove these old standoffs. And I think somehow I accidentally broke my screwdriver because I see it's, it's on L and it's not working. So I'll probably have to swap out for a normal screwdriver. Oh, actually, it's like it wants to work. All right, so I installed the new standoffs and I actually forgot I have to put in the SSD. So I'm just gonna pop that in. Lay this down. All right, so now we got the SSD installed. So now it's time to put the motherboard inside of the PC. Lay that under here. Lay those down. All right, so I just did a test and yes, it does turn on now, which is great. All right, so I basically plugged in every single cable the motherboard, the cables down there to turn it on, and the CPU one and the CPU fan. So all I have to do is just install the CPU fan, the RAM, and the GPU, and then the PC will be completely done. All right, so I'm gonna put down my trusty TM30 performance thermal paste. All right, so that looks like a good amount. I'm gonna line it up. So I got all four of them down. So now all I have to do is just reattach these connectors and then slap them on like that. I accidentally sliced my finger in the process, but the CPU cooler is now on. And then we got these sticks of RAM. So the last thing we need to install is of course the GPU. So I'm gonna open the GPU port and then there we go, we got it installed. And then over here, we have to install these bolts. Just got one, we got two. And I'm gonna lock this down, so it's not tight. All right, so basically got everything installed, I'm going to go move this to my setup and see if it runs. All right, so this is the moment of truth that will boot. And just like that, it fires right up. And yeah, I think I have to reprogram. There's a wire touching my GPU fan, so I'm gonna lay that down. All right, as you see, it's booting up. I guess it has to do something with the motherboard, get like devices ready, but I, I haven't done anything. So I guess maybe it's updating, but we'll just wait and see what it does. Oh, okay, it booted. So, so yeah, I said it was a success. I honestly thought I might have an issue or two, but there were, wasn't really any issues. With, and obviously, you know, kind of my finger, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. I hope you guys learned something if you guys are building a PC. I guess it was good to, you know, be able to dust off all my components because I haven't really been dusting off each individual component, but I got a chance to, you know, clean it, get some fresh thermal paste. And yeah, so it works perfectly now. So yeah, bye. Hello, Emerson, editing this video. My PC will not turn on. Wow. It won't turn on. Hello, Past Emerson. Your PC does work now. As you see, when I click it, it turns on.